Hello, my friends, and welcome back to your continued coverage of Flash versus the world here. His recovery, his comeback has been really remarkable to see. I've not watched this much TVT in quite some time, but Flash really is a special case. I'm going to make an exception here for him. He's spawning in the top left hand corner. JYJ over here in the top right. And I've got five games. Five games to go through here with Flash versus JYJ. So strap in. Buckle up all you Terran heads. And if you Zerg buddies out there, Protoss friends. Might as well grab yourselves a drink. Chill out. You're probably not going to learn too much. Not too much uh, necessary information anyway. You might see something interesting though. As Flash has been pulling out some really weird stuff. Uh, we saw in a previous series with him. A switch into double starport in the center of the map. While he was getting hit by Wraiths. It was a very cool improvisation from him. It was able to save himself in a what i consider to be a lost position where he was falling further and further behind and he just comes out with an amazing counterplay that i've truly never seen before and in 25 years of gameplay something that you've never seen before and i've been casting this for quite some time about four years now i've never seen that play you know it's something special it's something unique Hard to believe that we can still get plays like that. Plays that I've never seen before in this old, old game. Now, a little bit late on this factory here is Flash. He's just going to throw it down now, but look at how much later it is than JYJ's factory. And what is the reason for that? <clears throat> well, I'm not 100% sure. It's not exactly clear to me right now. We're one SCV behind. We've got less gas, less minerals, but two more supply here from Flash. So Marine coming across the map, going to get a uh, kill potentially. He's got the first hit, so he will eventually get this Marine. SCV going to come down the ramp here, and the barracks is actually floating for JYJ right now. So extra Marines were produced here. For Flash, and I guess that's why he's a little bit slow on his factory, but he loses that extra marine. Or maybe he can come up here and build a bunker? No, he's just going to fall back. The vulture is almost out. So as the vulture hits the field here, both players going to retreat with their respective scouting worker and marine here for Flash. Just a scouting SCV for JYJ. Now, he's actually getting the moving shot on this Marine. He's just about going to take it out here, but the Vulture will just sit on high ground for now. They want to come down here and risk getting a moving shot to death by that first Vulture of Flash. He might come down, though, now with the second Vulture making its way to the front, although there are two Vultures here as well. Let's see. I think he just wants to get rid of the Marine if possible. That Marine will eventually put the barracks into red HP. It'll start to burn and eventually it will go down. Uh, but if he can kill the Marine, then the barracks basically lives forever. As long as we're going for uh, Vulture play here. And two more factories suddenly start on either side. Looking like both players are doubling down on the Vulture War right now. This is... Oh, wait a second. Machine Shop. I was just about to say how... Uh, this is how a lot of TVDs were played uh, in the past few years. Like, I can't remember exactly the timing of when this became popular, the Vulture War style, but... Oh gosh, Flash is going to go up this ramp. This is a really bad trade for Flash. He's going to get... Uh, moving shot? No, he actually turns away from this moving shot. But going to come up now and try to target. Oh, one Vulture gets lost there pretty quick. The Marine got some extra damage as well. And... Another Vulture falls here, so only killing one SCV and one Marine. And then evening out the Vulture counts here. I would say both players still in an okay spot. Both players going for 
uh, speed upgrade, but it can get very scary, man. If you come up this ramp, you have less vultures than they do. They're sitting up there waiting. The missed shot plus uh, less vultures, you're going to take a really bad trade. We saw him lose one, and sometimes that's all it takes, guys. In this vulture war scenario, one vulture goes down. It's kind of like mutas. You know, muta on muta in ZVZ, where... Uh, just having one muta advantage can make a huge difference. Vulture here looking to run by, but... Oh, I think it just barely manages to get away there. 3 HP. That is pretty significant right now because the tank is arriving. And we're going to see a push in here from JYJ. Um, he better pull that back. That'll definitely be targeted. Oh... Okay, that's coming out. That's just going to fight here. The tank going to target onto the other tank. Uh, I think that JYJ is going to get pushed back here pretty heavily. He's got to target that tank right now. One more shot. There we go. He does get the tank, which is actually huge. The DPS from that is going to make a world of difference right here. You can see the vulture number quite a bit higher right now for JYJ, but Flash not at all perturbed here. He's going to keep pushing up, and going up the ramp is a bit difficult. He might end up losing this tank because of going up there. Oh, I think he's just barely going to save it. Dude, this is really, really close right now. The fact that Flash killed the early tank, though, the significance of that can't be overstated. We've only got two kills on this, but the DPS has been massive. Two SCVs are going to be pulled out now to finally start to repair that up. But both players just continuing to build vultures and adding on more factories for a factory play now with Mass Vulture here. You might think that it's a good idea to try and run by now. Try to run by and kill a bunch of SCVs, but uh, if you run by, you're gonna get trapped. And sometimes if you run by, kill a bunch of SCVs, all your Vultures die, then the opponent can just keep pumping Vultures. They're not expensive. Just keep pump pumping Vultures and then they come over across the map and overwhelm you. So it's a little bit scary right now. To go for any sort of run by. Both players taking it carefully here. Mines is now done for JYJ. But he's taking a gas and Flash is not. Flash has just been making vultures. He's gonna come straight across the map here. Oh, two Goliaths pop out at the perfect moment. Plus a tank. Definitely Flash is gonna lose this fight. He does back away. Gonna lay some mines here, but man, he really. Uh, took this fight at an inopportune time. Right before his mines upgrade finished. So he doesn't get all the mines out. Before losing a huge clutch of vultures there. Really well done by JYJ to have those two Goliaths popping out at the perfect moment. More vultures coming out here now. Who's going to look to expand first? Now that we're switching out of this uh, Vulture army, starting to add on tanks and Goliaths as well. Who's going to come forward and try to take a base here? Looks like JYJ is the first mover towards the middle of the map. He might be able to secure a position here. Let's zoom out a little bit and take a look at uh, Retro. Before we do that, let's just watch these vultures. See if he actually does a run by over here. Uh, if we can control this area right here. And this area here. Or even better, on top of the high ground. It can be very, very hard for the enemy Terran player to do much. The vulture run by here. And now into the natural. Looks like JYJ is going to be forced to turn around for a moment. A lot of SCVs could end up going down here. I'm hearing about five, six, seven. SCV is going down already, and that number is dropping significantly, but we're about to witness what I was just talking about earlier, guys, which is the potential, the possibility here that... Oh, okay, that was not a bad uh, mind connection there. Oh, no, that, that connects as well. Oh, that's really bad. Yikes, okay. I'm getting a little mixed up here with the colors. Let's change this to red and blue. A little bit difficult to see. Uh, who's who? That's a little bit better. Red is Flash. Blue is JYJ. 
And with all the, the kills that have gone down here, you would think that Flash would be in a really good spot, but there is a possibility that after losing all the Vultures, JYJ is just going to be able to push forward here with this overwhelming n count. Oh, tank got hit with a mine there. That's pretty big as well. Two of these tanks are super, super low. But Flash is getting pushed back hard right now. He's falling into a, a deeper deficit here. Oh, both of his tanks get picked off immediately as well. And GG is called. So this is... I mean... <laughs> did I call it or did I not call it here, guys? I swear that I did not watch this game beforehand. The player who counterattacks sometimes we'll just lose even if we kill a lot of workers i want to go back and look at that last engagement as well because there was a few things that happened off screen there uh, that i may have missed right here was a big moment right the vultures come running in i think a few vultures were sent back to try and assist but flash was not just set up out here he doesn't have siege mode or anything right now we had a starport on the way Yeah, this was um, this is a big move from Flash, diving in here. But he loses all of his army, all of his vultures, and he really doesn't have anything back here except for these four tanks. So let's see what happens to them. The vultures get sent back, and the tanks just run up on top of this stuff. Yeah, that's a bit rough. All the tanks get picked off. He actually gets pretty good connections with the mines here. But he loses another tank. Flash loses another tank. And that's about all she wrote, guys. Just one tank left over. And there's a whole bunch of vultures here. You're going to be able to run this down. A little bit unfortunate here for game number one uh, on the side of Flash. JYJ taking some heavy damage, but just pushing through with his superior army count. Yeah, you can see here. He's 10 workers down, but he's... Almost 10 supply head. No, he's... What is this? 5 supply head? 5 supply head. So he's 15 army supply head. And he was able to just push through with that bit of an advantage. Guys, we're going to jump into game number 2. Let's see what Flash can do. You know, I'm not generally the biggest fan of TVT. But quick games like that are actually not bad. They are... Uh, they're pretty fun to watch. When they're really going at each other. Um, attacking over and over and over again. I also really like the game we casted earlier this week. Versus uh, Royal. There was a great game. Um, I think it was also on Retro. Where there was a lot of dropship action. And uh, tons of big exchanges. And Flash went for really heavy Val uh, Valkyrie style. He got the early wraith advantage and then went heavy heavy into valkyrie like six valkyries and made it almost impossible for royal to take any control in the air and flash was able to leverage that to his advantage it uh, allowed him to pick off drop ships multiple times and kept him alive in the middle of the map gave him a good spot in the middle of the map to launch a big counter offensive so we'll see if flash wants to do a similar sort of thing in any of these games jyj i'm sure that he's gonna push him to his absolute limit this guy is crazy good at tvt and has been fully active over the past few years while flash has been uh, getting rusted over but we should see something pretty strong out of JYJ in this game. A barracks in the front here. Very far forward barracks. But it's going to get scouted by Flash. And will he be able to stop this? Because he's going to start to attack this SCV for sure. I think this will finish 100%. We're getting pretty unlucky here with the SCV. Oh my god. That SCV. Absolute Dumb luck here from Flash. Means that he almost gets that SCV and he gets a great delay on that barracks. Pretty unfortunate uh, turn of fate here. Twist of fate 
for JYJ. And will he lose this SCV? He needs to actually repair this. Otherwise, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. One Marine is going to pop out here. I guess he's going to use the Marinus cover to try and keep this uh, away from the Flash SCV. Sending it out on the map now. He knows that if he comes back into the main, he could be in a little bit of trouble. Two Marines heading across the map at the moment. One more SCV being harassed here. And JYJ, he's already been kind of slowed down. He's floating the uh, barracks, but he's only got two Marines to the three of Flash. See if Flash can make anything happen with this. Double factory. Whoa. All right, was not expecting that. Straight into double factory here while JYJ doing the more common approach. Immediately into single factory and command center. This is going to get weird, guys. This is going to get very weird very fast. We've got barracks floating this direction. One... Vulture on the map. Will he be able to come up this ramp and get any information? The barracks will eventually get over here and see what's coming. It's going to take a little bit more time. And maybe this build will already be well underway before that can happen. No turning back right now for JYJ. He's already got the CC more than halfway complete. Just going to go after the barracks here. No, just running right underneath it. Two more vultures coming. And a tank on the way here for JYJ. Will he be able to hold this funky little rush that Flash has put together? The CC is going to be left out here. About 90% complete. Just going to let that sit for now. Making sure that he doesn't lose an, an SCV for free there. The tank comes out though. And oh my double machine shop right now. A second factory starts. Is Flash actually gonna be able to do anything with this? He starts a CC of his own. I think that Flash is in a pretty rough spot here. JYJ's getting the serious advantage. The double factory play really not paying off. I wonder what he was expecting out of. JYJ, just constant vulture production, and then he was going to be able to overwhelm with the vultures? I'm not sure, but in this case, JYJ, he's got a great advantage. Three vultures are going to run in. Can he get a bunch of SEV kills here? He's actually running towards the ramp. He wants to get up into the main, but he's going to lose all of his vultures. Oh, no. Oh, no. Flash. Where are those, where are those going? My gosh, he's trying to get some mines out here. Really wants to slow down the reinforcement. But is it going to work? Oh, one mine. Does connect. Second mine, no. Marines go down. Vulture here on the high ground. Can I actually get in there? Potentially kill that tank. It's very low. Takes like maybe three, four shots from a tank. To, or from a vulture to kill. Ooh, he loses that tank. Flash here. Just a single tank on high ground, and siege mode is almost complete for JYJ. This is about as bad as it gets. I'm expecting a tap out. There it is. GG. Flash taps out. Quickly firing back here. JYJ snags a win. He's here in red now, down at the bottom right-hand corner, dispatching Flash, who's now in the purple. With some ease, honestly. I don't know what exactly Flash was going for there, but uh, he looked at the build of JYJ and he thought, hmm, I think I can maybe kill here with two factory. But just not the case. It felt like from the beginning, though, his build was a little bit off. Honestly, I'm not sure what was going on with it. He um, didn't seem to be playing very smoothly there, though. The factory was just way faster for JYJ. And there didn't seem to be any advantage that Flash gleaned out of that. I thought maybe it was going to be like a bunch of Marines or something. 
so that he could take advantage of the fact that he slowed down the enemy barracks and that just wasn't the case barracks are we gonna get gas it's looking like a gas is fast expand here for flash so we're gonna see jyj's response to that flash really favoring this build quite heavily in his series of tvt games he's actually favoring it quite a lot uh, in his versus protoss matchups as well which is quite interesting does seem to be very strong the way that he does it we'll see what jyj can bring out against it if he's able to punish or does he want to just go immediately into cc well he's gonna get a lot of information here he's gonna get this scv in and see right as the cc starts so he has ample time to potentially shut this down but will he be able to we're gonna be watching this gas here it's one marine being sent out and no more gas mining so after seeing the cc first looks like jyj opting for a cc of him of his own and he'll have vultures out he'll have map control in the early game it'll force a wall potentially out of flash but not too much else here flash is gonna have a bit of an early advantage and jyj will have to play from a deficit no two ways about it first marine coming in here two marines to meet him so scv and marine just gonna back away for now but a vulture will hit the field soon so it's not like this is any sort of threat a bunker gonna start here we should see the barracks float down and land right there and the supply depot likely to take this position block out any vulture run bys that might be coming up here a little bit later on more supply depots there's the command center and what will be the follow-up are we going to see a starport here out of flash or are we going to see a starport out of jyj one factory in my mind is really pointing towards a starport right now because if he was going to go to a uh, factory just factories he would have gone two factories and he would have thrown them both down at the same time the fact that he's not building a second factory here uh, i think means that he's waiting for this first factory to finish so he can start that starport am i correct flash over to you there it is starport second factory here for jyj so a little bit more tech gonna be coming out of flash it's gonna have those uh, air units is going to have wraiths available uh, but he will have a little bit less army on the ground now flying over here and seeing one factory i think that jyj knows what's up likely we'll see an armory here soon is that it oh boy armory is on the way here i don't even play terran guys look at that I guess I've watched enough of this to sort of know the flow anyway, but I apologize if I'm missing anything major here, you Terran players, you devils. I know how much you guys uh, care about the, this matchup and uh, your build orders. Third factory here going to come down for Flash as he finishes up the academy. Will we have Academy here for JYJ? No, not at all. Straight into Armory. Wraiths are going to start to come out here. And the first target will be the Barracks. Not a bad choice at all. Goliaths are going to be coming out in just a moment. So unlikely he would be able to get a bunch of SCV kills or anything like that. So picking off the Barracks is a reasonable option. Oh, almost walking right into these mines but doing his best to get as many of them as possible with that first scan does manage to get four mines killed one marine not enough to take on a wraith i think it's three you need three marines to kill a wraith 
two you can still micro around it and and win that fight so not having the critical mass there oh he's gonna come up and fix with the scv that's pretty smart that's actually gonna buy enough time for the goliaths to get here and will he lose the wraith very well done here will he lose the wraith of course not flash how could i be so silly fourth and fifth or third and fourth factories excuse me coming down and our first dropship is on the field where will this be headed will he be able to slip by the keen eye of jyj oh did he actually turn around right there that's pretty slick oh oh there he is there he is i saw him i saw him did jyj see him jyj definitely sees him assuming he's got his eyes open he should have seen that and likely will be shutting it down here oh he's still gonna go for it i thought he'd turn around oh he got only one vulture out oh my oh my god flash absolutely wrecked there what even happened that was rough well now we've got jyj with an advantage in just about every way aside from uh, worker count he's looking pretty good here we're, we're pretty much even dead even on worker count but like 10 supply advantage 15 supply advantage here pretty darn good for our red terran our vultures over on this side they don't have speed yet so it's a little bit hard for them to run up and start laying mines on this stuff but he's just gonna do it anyway oh the tanks are gonna start to go down he's hitting like the long ed end of the tank line here you don't want to walk into the tank line like this but if you can come from this angle like that it works a lot better you can definitely take out a lot more tanks so another load up here another drop ship from flash he's not going to give up on this just yet but a push forward here with vultures and goliaths and tanks is he just going to get broken these tanks are going down mighty fast and he will lose those last few tanks the drop is going across the map but jyj with the muscle to just push straight through i think we're gonna lose oh god he targeted with both tanks under the one hp tank there on the right hand side everything just gonna back up here but the position is very very good right now for jyj two more vultures gonna land inside the main as these two deal damage over at the natural uh oh it's like this vulture not really gonna get too much here and not a lot of targeting coming from flash right now so not as much economic damage as you might think and only i mean we're still two workers ahead of flash at this point jyj in a great spot out here but he's only got one tank it's not very healthy right now too many vultures though he's probably just gonna surround and kill this with just pure vulture gotta target the mines ah the mines do not get targeted there and the tanks get exploded Flash in a really tough spot right now. He throws down a CC at 12. Thinking that maybe if he can just sneak a base out on the map, he could try to bring this one back. Vulture's gonna come up and challenge tanks again. Mine's being laid on top of everything and the tanks of JYJ are pushing forward right now. There's not enough critical mass here ever. For flash to push forward and three hp left on this tank that's a crying shame looks like flash wanted to come out and try to snipe that but siege tank will get repaired here what is flash to do just keep dropping i suppose vulture here gonna find the hidden base of flash and a starport starts now we've seen flash in worse positions pull things back but not much not much worse than this this is pretty darn bad uh to bring this back against someone the quality of uh jyj seems a little bit of a impossibility wow he's gonna completely shut this down oh that is so rough right now two tanks out here in the front can he actually get the mine connections that he needs to kill this 
All right, he does. But all of his tanks are super low after taking shots from the tanks of JYJ. So his reinforcing units are going to clear everything up. And GG is called another win here for JYJ. All right, continuing along here with our Flash versus JYJ series. We've got JYJ spawning here in the top right. Flash in the bottom left, and he's just taken a couple of pretty significant losses. I'm sure he's not feeling that. What is he going to bring out here to try and bring back the series? Well, we are cross-map this time. It's the first, I think the first game of the series that we've gotten cross-map. I could be wrong about that, but I, I think that might be correct. And with the cross-map, TVT we could be seeing a very long one here let's take a look at the map fighting spirit oh man what a piece of work this map is I mean any map is balanced in a mirror matchup but this is not my favorite let's let's just take stock of what we've got here we've got a pretty easy to control natural a pretty easy to hold third base and an incredibly important ramp here right out the front of the natural i think um we just played a game on fighting spirit that was that last game where jyj was pushing from the south and you could just see how desperate flash was to hold this make sure i'm not missing anything here uh gas is fast expand once again from flash but you can see that Flash was, he was just trying so hard to hold on to this area. He kept on pushing out and pushing out and pushing out and losing his tanks over and over and over again through that area. Uh, because he was so desperate to hold that spot. And the reason is it's just so hard to get across this. Once your opponent has like a big ring of siege tanks around this area, coming across this bridge is near impossible. So we'll see if either player is able to contain the other uh, on those bridges. Oh my goodness. Need to fix that. What am I missing here? Map, map, there it is. A little bit of a mistake there, guys. Sorry about that. Hopefully that didn't give you any spoilers there. We've got a starport being built across the map right now. So, you know, JYJ last game, he didn't try to put on any pressure to the Gasless Fast Expand. Seems like this time he does want to get something done here, though. He's built a couple of Marines. He's got the Vulture coming across the map. The follow-up going to be double factory here from Flash. But this starport on the other side is something interesting. I wonder if we're going to just have wraiths sent into the main here or are we going to add put an add-on yeah add-on okay add-on is coming this is for a drop the plan here is to get in to the flash main and deal a huge amount of scv damage to really even out uh the fact that we've got this early cc from flash about a 4-5 worker advantage here for Flash right now. So, really crucial that JYJ gets something done right now. Otherwise, he'll be falling further and further behind. Now, Vultures are here. Where's that second Vulture? Right there. Third Vulture going to come up. Speed is just going to finish here. One tank is the only thing that flash is going to have out he went double machine shop after this and he's got the armory here he might start a goliath now but he's really only going to have one tank two goliaths are going to start and the drop is already coming in this could deal massive damage here for jyj we're going to have to pay close attention to this let's see what kind of damage can get done one scv goes down two three four one vulture does fall can no longer one shot but gonna come back in again 
Oh, oh, is there another vulture back here? Wait, what? How did that vulture get in? I might have to picture and picture something there, guys. Uh, that might have been a run by into the natural. I'm not sure. I know there was only three in this dropship. But that was quite a lot of damage. You can see now 27 SCVs to 33 here for JYJ. Now, can Flash come out and punish? I don't think so. I think we're going to have uh, mines here soon, are we not? No, no mines. Instead, going immediately into siege mode. And JYJ will have to come across this bridge. And take a position in the front. Oh, the dropship. Got two marines inside of it. Almost gets picked off on the retreat. Blasts are going to come across the map here. They might just dive right on top of this tank. Three factories are on the way right now but he just doesn't have anything here maybe gonna siege up on this high ground that could be a good position to take looks like he will indeed take that and with two tanks he may be able to hold this one scv gets lost but overall i think this is a great spot for jyj he's even gonna get his dropship back home which is fantastic you can see flash moving to try and pick that off if he could but He's not going to get that opportunity. Another uh, another Goliath goes down here. Really rough start series of events here for Flash. And what's he going to do to bring this back? I think he might be planning to take a really fast third. JYJ is already pushing out across his bridges. And Flash is just kind of falling back right now. Oh, man. Really out of character mistakes here from Flash. Losing extra Goliaths into these tanks. But you can see how quickly... Look at how fast we're pushing across this bridge here. Right now is JYJ. He's immediately trying to get out here. He does not want to allow that containment to happen. Flash is moving into position, but... That's quite a few tanks getting set up already. Vultures here in the front. We do not have mines. They're so close to being done, but they're just not here on time. This tank here going to get picked off before it can fire a siege shot. The tank coming forward by accident there. Flash almost losing that, but he will maintain at least three tanks. Can we get a scan here? Great move by Flash. And a third base is on the way here as expected. Spreading out right now as long as he's got a path onto the map. It's fine if flash is here We can now start to split the map this way This is completely okay We just cannot allow this area to be covered or things are gonna spiral into a desperate situation These vultures are gonna come down here four vultures gonna be taken up into the main it looks like Some great play from JYJ thus far Laying down some mines down here just to make sure this base can't be taken too easily. This area over here is a little bit exposed, but tanks over in the natural. What does he what does he have back at home? Three vultures here. Gonna be thrown down. Quite a few kills already. Going after these SCVs. One of the vultures does fall. It looks like Flash can pick up one of those and get on out. A lot more tanks right now for Flash. But he is in a uh, supply deficit at the moment, surprisingly. Has quite a few less SCVs. I guess it shouldn't surprise me too much. With how many units have been lost kind of for free. And how many SCVs have been killed this game. It makes sense that Flash is a little bit behind right now. Random tank over here. Kind of in a funny position. It's going to help to block these vultures from running through, though, and getting over here to that side. If I'm JYJ right now, I guess I, JYJ doesn't know about this, though, does he? Sending the dropship around this way to hit this base would yield massive results, though. Because Flash is setting up right now to make it impossible for vultures to move over to that side. So he's not really protecting this base at all. He's got nothing over here to defend that. But a drop could easily skirt along the top side of the map. 
and get over that position. Looks like JYJ might be thinking of busting this. He's got a lot of vultures here. He's got a good chunk of tanks. Let's take a look at the upgrade. 0-0 zero, zero on either side. 1-1 one, one about to finish. So is he going to try and break this position? Reinforcements are coming up right now. So it's not a good time to actually uh, take this fight. But Flash comes a little bit far forward here. How's the targeting right now? Pretty good on the side of JYJ. Let me pick off a few more tanks here. That tank right there does get one last kill. I think a better trade overall here for Flash. Yeah, look at how much he's still got right now. Drops coming around to this side. Uh, back into the main here. Try to get a few more kills, but there is a tank. We'll deal with it rather quickly. Third base is up now for JYJ, but he's got almost nothing here. If Flash knew there was nothing here, he could set up, reset up his tanks uh, in a big arc right in front of this natural and be in a very good spot. Like, you, you just, if you can't break out of this, like I said, coming across that bridge is nightmarish. Moving forward here. Gonna try and take over this bottom side, open up another path potentially into the center right. I think Flash is playing this game out brilliantly. His trades have been pretty godlike. Aside from the drops, JYJ hasn't really gotten too much done. And Flash is now pushing in. Two more tanks over here. Both players starting up there. Uh, plus two upgrades as well. Adding on additional star ports right now is JYJ. He's going to try and wrench back control of the air here from Flash, who's been cranking out a few of uh, wraiths here and there, but doesn't have a very large supply of them just yet. Well, the tank gets picked off here, but he's opened up a position to get down uh, onto this base, this third base here. Doesn't have Goliath just yet. We'll bring one forward, though. With that one Goliath, he should be able to push everything back. Oh, the scan comes down, but... That is a very low HP Goliath, so it ends up falling. Will Flash be able to break this position just purely with Wraith right now? It would be real, rather impressive if he could make that happen. But it seems like a, a difficult uh, task at the moment. Another drop over here. Relentless with the drops this game, JYJ. Is he not going to drop there? Okay, he does. Jeez, I, I, thought, I was about to get a little bit loud there. If he didn't actually drop on that third, it's the perfect location to drop. There's so many SCVs here, and they're very far away from the rally point. So he does drop there. He will get a lot for this drop, actually. A lot of damage. Flash is really hurting after that. Down to 55 workers. His position is still rather good, though. You gotta give it up to the man. He is in a very good spot here. I guess he lost his other wraiths though. Where did the other where did the wraiths go? I'm not sure exactly what happened with those. I mean, he had two wraiths a little bit earlier, but JYJ. I guess he managed to pick those off. Gonna come up now with the uh his own wraith and some Goliaths here. Meanwhile, JYJ pushing over here on the right hand side. The targeting not the greatest for Flash right now. Everything is getting pushed down. JYJ going to open up a position. This is a pretty big moment here. I don't think that Flash can push into the center right with those three tanks on high ground. At the same time, though, not a lot over here. Uh, maybe he can... Yeah, I think he can actually get through this. Flash not responding with his whole army. And okay, now he's going to start to bring everything up. He's going to take this fight now with JYJ. JYJ is sieging up first. Gonna get the better of this trade, it seems. Diving right on top of this. Backing away at the last moment. He's got a Wraith here to start picking away at that. Another drop coming around. Dude, this is relentless damage from JYJ. Another drop gonna deal a huge amount more damage. Now five Wraiths coming in to defeat the four of Flash while he's dealing with this drop. A great timing play here from JYJ. To get even more damage with the drop and to take out the position here. Oh man, he's losing his Goliaths as well. If he loses every Goliath here, 
You know what's gonna happen? All these tanks are gonna get taken out for free. Yeah, the tanks are gonna start getting worked down and more kills here in the back. Okay, click this. Three kills so far, just hitting that supply depot right now. Pushing forward here, Flash is on the back foot. He does pick off the last Wraith here from JYJ, but JYJ gonna push through the tanks right now and Flash is busy looking elsewhere, I think, because he's not sieging up his tanks here. I think he's gonna lose that one. Another group of Wraiths comes forward. Flash gonna get driven back once again. More Vultures gonna be sent over here to the left side. The center left is gonna get ravaged one more time. Still ahead in workers somehow. I don't know how that's even possible. That Flash actually has more workers. He's taken so much damage throughout this game, but I guess he's just been cranking away the workers the entire time. Rebuilding those over and over again. He's still at 60 somehow. Gets the scan, has the overwhelming number of wraiths here. Should be able to kill off at least one of these tanks. No, Goliaths are finally out now for JYJ. Gonna try and pick off some of these tanks here. Not bad. JYJ already has another base, though. That is getting scary. He's already got 12 o'clock. And Flash just cannot prevent him from holding that any longer. Tanks on high grounds. There's a whole bunch of mines up here as well. Maybe you can cut something off. Cut off the position here and get something up to 12 o'clock to, to deal with that base before there's too many tanks up on that high ground. This is a great move by Flash. Getting into position here outside of range of these tanks. Wraiths are going to come forward here. He doesn't have the scan right now, I think. He won't be able to deal with these two raids, but... Nice connections there. Oh, yes. Flash is barely going to win this fight. He gets the very last kill with no energy remaining on these wraiths. And holding back the position here, I think JYJ has to break this. He has to go for this, right? He's got to stop this from going down right now. He's actually going to head south? Where are we going with this? Another drop here. Going to be hitting the natural. JYJ. Dude, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Relentless harassment. Absolutely relentless. But, again, more SCVs here for Flash. Somehow. Able to have more. I guess it's because of all the SCVs that went uh, uh, down up at 12. But it is impressive right now, guys. Plus two is done on either side, finally. So with that plus two, this containment could be really scary. JYJ has gone all the way around the main force of Flash. And is going to be setting up here right at the entrance. Nice scan there. Only three Goliaths. There's six wraith, six wraiths available. Funny positioning on the supply depots here. I guess you can't get on top of that. Uh, maybe with the um, vultures, right? He's just going to fight this. Oh, man. I think he kills this, actually. That's so many wraiths here. Wow. He's going to get every tank for free right now. And really not much that uh, JYJ can say about it. He doesn't even have the scan to see the high ground right now. The Wraith play working out really, really well for Flash, but he doesn't have another base yet. Both players struggling for mineral income. You can see almost mined out on both sides. A lot of Wraiths coming over here. Only three Goliaths. Uh, if a couple of them get picked off, oh, he's sending out a bunch of SCVs right now to repair. He sees that there's a weakness, a spot, point of weakness here. No Goliaths over in this area. So immediately going to dive upon that. Oh, a, a Valkyrie coming out for JYJ to push all this Wraith army back. The Wraiths are already very low. So one good volley from those Valkyries could pop a bunch of Wraiths. Base in the bottom right-hand corner. Scan sees that immediately. Flash. Can he really get down there to deal with it? I don't know. There's two tanks over here. More are coming, though. Good chunk of Vultures as well to... Uh, defend the position. Flash may be needing to take a base in the top left. He starts to CC up there. But he doesn't have full coverage of this left-hand side to prevent counterattacks over into this area. Might be a good idea to start sending counterattacks through here down to the bottom right. Because that's not completely covered just yet either. 
This is kind kind of a wild game, guys. This is the game that I was looking for. This is the game that I was looking forward to when I saw this five set series from JYJ and Flash. This is quite a banger here. Four Valkyries in this army. You just can't, you can't engage that. You cannot engage that with Wraith. Oh, is he gonna get this? Oh my God, it's so close. Oh my God, it's so close. Nine HP on that. I saw nine. And now the Wraiths are all gonna go down. Oh, this is huge. Every single Wraith falls here and the CC survives. Such a big moment here for JYJ as he clears out all of that air army. And the CC lives. Crucial, crucial moment here. And what does Flash actually have for workers at this point and mining going on? He's not got much over here. He's transferring a lot of this over to the top left, but his opponent has taken clear control of the skies at this moment. He has full domination over what goes on in the air here. Flash is going to be relegated to building turrets and just holding with ground forces at this point. He's putting turrets everywhere. He's trying to split this map in half, which is definitely doable. JYJ is already on top of it, though. JYJ is so quick to get set up here. He's already on this base, and we need to see Flash get up here and take this spot pretty soon. Uh, otherwise, he's just going to be a step ahead, uh, behind in basically every way. Setting up slowly here is Flash, but taking some harassment damage from this Wraith over here. Some drops are out. There is a potential that Flash could get in with some of these drop ships and uh, maybe shut down the space in the bottom right, but with the Valkyries here, I'm going to think twice about going for that. There's drops heading up around the top side of the map right now. I think we're going to see JYJ hit that top left. And if he manages to shut that down, we're going to be in a really hard spot here for Flash. Flash, I think he sees it now. Or no, he doesn't. He doesn't see the drop. Is he, is he going to turn around and go to the top left here? No, he's going to go for the main. Immediately flying into the main here. Is he going to lose his drops before he unloads them? No. Setting up a massive uh, group of tanks here on the high ground. This is a really scary position to try to break. But at the same time, Flash has nothing here mining. He's going to just start mining over here uh, at the natural, it looks like. But this is basically his his last gambit. If this doesn't go well, he's going to be uh, having to tap out of this game, I think. JYJ coming up. Trying to fight this. Everything that's popping out is dying really quickly. Factories are starting to go down. This base has been shut down. No real mining on the map right now for Flash. Barely mining anywhere with 41 SCVs. A lot of mining here for JYJ, but you can see that money is starting to really stack up as the uh, factories right now haven't been able to actually build anything. And they won't be able to for quite some time. One Wraith here could be instrumental. But it looks like the siege mode is a little bit faster here for JYJ. And he is going to start to clear this out. Now yeah, that will be cleared. Only one Wraith left over here. Eventually, the Wraiths of JYJ will clear everything. Another drop heading down to the bottom right. This is the last Gambit of Flash. I said the last last one was the last Gambit, but this is definitely the last Gambit. We've got no income right now for Flash. He's just going to try to shut down this base and buy a lot of time. He needs to buy so much time here. He's going to lose every single drop ship so there really is no follow-up after this there's really nothing to do once all of this has been cleared i think we might see a tap out here from flash he's just got a few units scattered around he's gonna bring everything together maybe go for another attack i guess but he's got no drops you know what maybe he can push here 
That is a possibility. Wraiths are going to work over in the top right. They clear out this area. There's only three factories left. And almost no tanks. There's one tank on high ground down here in the bottom right. Can Flash make this happen? 1,500 minerals right now for JYJ, but he can't really make anything. This is going to be a very, very close one, guys. A lot of SCVs going down here. Trying to drag some of the uh, splash damage into these tanks. Doing a pretty reasonable job of that, but will Flash be able to get up this ramp? I can't imagine JYJ stopping him right now. He's doing everything he can, but there it is. That goes down, and he will get on top of the factories over here. More tanks holding down the flank. He's barely mining anything right now, but he's getting on top of the factories, and that is what counts. That's what matters. More wraiths being made. Do we have enough anti-air here for Flash? I don't see it. I don't see the anti-air. Where are the Goliaths? Three are coming down. That's a lot of wraiths. Five wraiths going to come down here to start to clear these uh, tanks. The Goliaths will make their way over. Got to get down here quickly. One turret starts. A turret, or excuse me, finishes. One turret finishes here. That's really important right now for Flash. Trying to keep everything alive. Where are these Goliaths? Wait, where? What? Where? Goliaths? Hello? Goliaths just disappeared. They're actually headed over here. They need to be brought forward to actually assist um against these wraiths the wraiths are getting some kills on the back end jyj gonna take 12 o'clock right now he's sending a scv up to the top left gonna take that base as well pretty insane game here guys overall i think we might have to see flash take bottom center wow this is gonna completely flip on its head this game is gonna get really wild where'd that cc come from I think it's a new one that was just built in the kind of towards the middle of the map here. Flash is really going to take that base. He's got more workers than JYJ right now. So once he gets this base operational, he'll actually have a better income. It's just... Wow. What an insane game here. What a crazy, crazy finish. We're at 28 minutes in. And there's no hope of going to battlecruiser this game i think that would be insanity if we got to battlecruiser here i think one of these players is definitely gonna win uh within the next like five minutes somebody is gonna find a breaking point somewhere flash is behind in overall army count but he is prepared to per perhaps be able to split this map in half wraiths are heading down here to the bottom center might be able to get some harassment going no turrets over here just yet. Tanks are being sent down. Only Goliaths are necessary. We don't need tanks down here, but... He is going to send the Goliaths and tanks together. Maybe this is an opportunity for JYJ to break through. There's not a lot over here. Very limited number of units to defend. So this could be the opportunity that JYJ is waiting for. He's not really taking advantage of it right now, but he's got a big group, a big, big group of units ready to go. He's going to start to load up some drops. Four drop ships are being loaded. A fifth going to join them. Completely mined out here in the center left. The only base worth attacking right now is six o'clock. And it looks like he's going to loop all the way around right to the edge of the map and try to come in on this base. See if he can shut this down. Another base is now mining for JYJ. Expanding a little bit quicker than Flash overall. Flash actually sending a CC. Slowly floating all the way down here. He's sending his natural to take this base. Oh, he sees it. Flash sees it. Drops of his own are going over here to the top left. But look at this. Wraiths are going to catch this. Wraiths and Valkyries are going to catch on to this. But everything managing to unload. All the Wraiths are going to die. Meanwhile, this base is being assaulted. Do you just pull the SCVs and attack? I think maybe that might be the right choice. SCV is going to come forward here, try to take this fight. Meanwhile, the base in the top left is going down. I think that barely. Flash is going to clear. Oh, it's so close right now, guys. It is so damn close. I think he just barely cle cleans this. Just by the skin of his teeth here. With only a few SCVs remaining, clears this. 
and he's still got a good defensive position he's gonna drop over into the 12 o'clock this is the final mining base of jyj I'm gonna set up tanks here he's even got two tanks remaining a target not onto the units that are right next to the tanks let the goliaths deal with those oh the the mine is gonna be pretty big right now oh the mine holy that mine absolutely massive in clearing that out we really don't have much here for either player both hitting each other over and over again it's like two boxers who are just so exhausted they can barely even punch each other anymore their punches are super weak but every hit is bringing each other closer and closer to their knees each player just one blow away from getting knocked out completely who's it gonna be who's gonna take this game flying through some goliaths here could lose a dropship he does I didn't get to see if that was a loaded dropship, but I imagine it was pretty painful there for JYJ, who's sitting on 12 SCVs. 24 for Flash. Double the SCV count right now, and he's not able to get in. That is huge. Going after the dropship with a Wraith. He gets it. That is a big kill. Another kill here on another dropship. That one's not loaded up, but it's still an amazing pickup for Flash. Exceeding JYJ's supply quite significantly at this point, and he has the base in the bottom right up and running now. There's only one CC left that hasn't been floated out to try and secure another base. That's the main tank here on the high ground, just kind of chilling. Both players scanning each other over and over again, seeing where they're going to go with their armies. Dude, these armies are so small, it's hilarious. This is a crazy game. We're at 32 minutes in, guys. We've got like 12 tanks on either side. A little bit more than 12 tanks for Flash. A little bit less than 12 tanks for JYJ. Two drops going to go around the side. Can he make it in here? No. Goliaths are ready for this. Well, he will go over the high ground here. But there's the final dropships going down. He will get the unload. But GG is called. JYJ taps out. Woo, what a game here from Flash. That was a banger, my guys. That was a fantastic game. I was really on the fence. Could have gone either way many, many times here throughout this game, but Flash <laughs> manages to clutch it out. I I don't know, guys. What did you think about this game? This was insane to me. The amount of moves back and forth between each other. This is more like um, a Protoss versus Terran or something like that with the amount of fighting that was going on and the amount of drops that were happening. Much more reminiscent of that than a TVT where most of the time people are pretty static building up into giant armies and fighting. But these guys just scrapping like crazy all over fighting spirit. Really fun to watch. Let's jump into our last game. Final game of the night now. Final game of the series. The last time that Flash met up against JYJ on this day, the 17th of June, 2024. A barracks in the middle of the map will be JYJ's idea here for this final game. Can uh, pay off with a very early scout but it can also backfire as we've saw uh, as we've seen before right if flash finds this and he forces the scv off the barracks then that can be really painful it's not going to happen here fortunately for jyj he's just going to be able to finish this up and likely get the scout on here really nice and early behind this no gas for Flash again with the Gasless Fast Expand. Very interesting. I wonder if we'll see JYJ follow up the same way as he did last game. Because that worked very, very well. He didn't win that game. But I thought his answer to the Gasless Fast Expand was fantastic. The 
Speed Vulture drop. Excellent, excellent play from him. He did a lot of damage. It did end up, however, seeding a lot of map control to Flash, which he uh, didn't really let go of for a very long time. He was keeping control of the map uh, over a JYJ for most of that game. Of course, it got really chaotic. It wasn't always the case, but yeah, I, I don't know. Let's see what uh, JYJ wants to, to do here. Is he actually going to build that starport once again? He hasn't even found Flash just yet, so he has no idea that there's a bunker here with a CC. And the factory hasn't even started. Well, these three Marines are really not going to get too much done. We might even see an NG Bay here. Is he going to build one? Oh, he could totally do it. Block here for a really long time. The problem is, however, though, that uh, the CC can just be built right there beside it. <laughs> totally possible. Just go ahead and build. The CC is slightly off and then float it over. So he's not going to do that. He's just going to block for as long as he can. And now JYJ going to get into his natural follow up here. Starport? I don't see one. Our CVs everywhere. <clears throat> Quick drink. I just ate a plum and um, feels a little bit uh, scratchy in my throat, I guess. Or a soldier on here. Might be a little bit allergic, I'm not sure. I definitely washed it, washed it before, but I'm pretty sensitive to uh, those like pesticides and stuff like that. <clears throat> Getting a little extra phlegm going on here. But double factory here from JYJ, and it's triple factory for Flash, so. I don't know. Just overall, this looks great for Flash. He's got seven SCV advantage. Holy. Some Vulture's going to run by the bunker here. He didn't uh, build the extra buildings here to make this completely tight. So he's actually going to pay the price for that. He's lost quite a few SCVs so far. This is going very well for, Fla or for JYJ. Killing off a lot of SCVs. Wow. Oh my goodness. So many SCVs go down. That is wild. Absolutely crazy. Well, Flash will get back to mining. But at a disadvantage here in terms of his overall worker camp. And the Vultures will get back home to be repaired. That is a huge boon right there for JYJ. Not only getting all those kills but keeping his vulture count high because flash is pumping out vultures like crazy and has the potential to overwhelm if all those had gone down flash certainly would overwhelm the position here for jyj but as it stands we've got a fighting chance let's see if he can hold this back two more factors are about to finish but flash certainly has the edge here in terms of the number of vultures now marines are going to come in gotta target those down Marines steal a lot of dps but they are very squishy getting rid of them first is the right choice it feels like jyj gonna win this fight overall it's really really close but his rallies are closer oh i guess he just barely wins flash just barely wins this a lot of missed shots here great job getting these vultures right to the top of that ramp uh, over and over again here, making sure that they are in the best possible position to dodge shots. Not the greatest targeting there for Flash. Not targeting the low HP Vulture. And now he's going to get chased down here. Alright, getting chased down himself. We'll lose all of his Vultures. So, Flash kind of came out ahead on that, but he is behind in Workers. And now he's behind in Factory Count, I think, as well. More Factories coming up here, but... Definitely an edge for... JYJ with four finished already. 
two more in fact coming down here for flash he's doubling down this can happen sometimes oh the wait the barracks went down uh-oh i'm not sure how that barracks ended up falling but the barracks died so we can't build more factories right now he's actually going to start an, an armory which is a prudent decision get an armory going here and that way um once these extra factories finish he can uh, start to pump out goliaths because he's going to get overwhelmed pretty quickly with just pure vulture by flash uh, having the extra factories done now Still pumping out pure vulture on either side. Ni neither player looking to transition just yet. Are we going to get full on Goliath production here? No, pure vulture still coming here. Flash is getting set up in a good spot on this high ground. Pretty close overall the count of units I would say. A little bit of a disadvantage for JYJ, but only about two supply behind right now. We're going to take this fight. Just pure vulture on vulture. Two Goliaths are coming and a tank. The transition has begun here. Flash is coming out. Eating uh, kind of a bad trade here by having some vultures ahead of the pack. They're going to get picked off really, really quick. Mmm, this is a pretty close fight right now, but I think Flash is actually ahead. He's rallying forward vultures, whereas uh, we've got some like Goliaths and stuff popping out here for uh, JYJ right now. Just gonna dive right into the natural. He has mines. Start to lay them down on top of these units. Getting on top of the ramp here now. There's an opportunity uh, for Flash here because the, some of these uh, shots might miss. The tank blows up. You know, if you're firing at a mine on high ground, you might miss, and then the mine could connect and detonate. Targeting down the mines here. Very nice job by JYJ getting rid of all these mines. The tank's coming up. Get hit by the mines. Another mine gonna go off here. Oh! My god, that mine! Wait a second. Flash is probably gonna take this now. Pure rallies of vultures coming across the map. That mine was so insane. Dude. That mine was crazy. Doing so much here. JYJ was about to stabilize. But after losing those tanks and Goliaths and vultures going down to the mines, it's just about over here. So many SCVs have gone down. I think we'll see JYJ tap out here pretty soon because he has lost way too much in this fight. And it's just pure vulture rallies coming across the map here for Flash. Five vultures at a time to the four vultures of his opponent, who's desperately trying to cling on with build, uh, repairing SCVs. But GG is called. There it is. Wow. I want to go back and watch that mine again, guys. That was so sick. Such a uh, an amazing mine connection here. What a crazy battle this was. TVT is something different. It, it really does remind me a little bit of uh, ZVZ, though. It's so technical in the fighting. Yeah, you can see he's miss missing shots. He's missing shots here trying to kill the mine. So he ends up missing those shots. The mine detonates on the tank. The tank goes down. And then this tank right here, <clears throat> this mine right here doesn't connect. He manages to shoot that one down. Oh, no. He shoots the other one down. And this one connects. Boom. My goodness. What an insane turn of events there. He loses the entire game off of that one mine connection. Really, really great positioning there for Flash. Getting those mines right on top of that ramp. And JYJ just a little impatient in trying to get over here. You know, if he'd had some scanners up, he could have scanned and cleared that safely. Um, even if he hadn't been safe about it, if he just, you know, slowly moved forward here, maybe brought the Goliath into range and used the tanks to gun down the mines, he would have uh, been able to clear and had a couple of tanks left over. And then I don't think Flash can break through. But 
the way it went down you can see eight scv advantage right now even for jyj if he had like what was that tank goliath and maybe one or two vultures if he had those units together he could have repaired the tank with the scvs and just keep it alive for a long time and just pure vulture rally is not going to do the best against that composition more Goliaths can come out to assist as well. Dude, it's so crazy how just that one big explosion can completely turn this game on its head. Guys, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching uh, this TVT. If you want to see some more, I've got another series in the back pocket. Make sure to leave a comment. Uh, type TVT, want, get, something like that. And we will get to that series here soon. I believe it was... We already did Royal. We did JYJ. There's one other series here. I can't remember what it was. But let me know if you want to see another TVT uh, from me here. It's been fun, guys. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.